Thank you for tuning in again for another episode of Getting to Know Your Neighbors. I'm working with Park Bench again, which is a community website to interview local business owners in our community. I am Hamid Kourkastri, real estate pro professional property manager with Amex Property Management. And I will be interviewing today Dave Brett, who is one of the owners of Griffiths Boxing and Fitness in North Vancouver, who is well known in Vancouver as one of the best gyms in Vancouver. Thanks for joining me, Dave. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it. I guess we're not allowed to like exchange. Yeah, we can do a business. We can do a business. Yeah, since 1905. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. That works for me. So why don't we get started? Uh, you know, go right into it. Okay. So how did you get started with this business? Yeah, that was uh, that was a long time ago. Now um, it feels like yesterday, um, but. Uh, so 2005, we officially opened, uh, about six years prior to that at a rec center. Uh, quite honestly, uh, boxing changed my life. So it was all about uh, trying to not be the, the piece, of, piece of, you know, explicit language that I was turning into. Um, I'd read a book called The Power of One, and, uh, and I'd gone through some stuff that was probably not so good for me. And I decided that boxing was going to be the thing that I was going to try. So I was a big fat kid with, you know, a goatee and slick back hair and like, you know, kind of looking for trouble. And, and boxing uh, really transformed me. I, I uh, not only did I get in really good shape, I also built a thing called confidence. And, and I learned that uh, that sweet science was something that was worth looking into. So um, for me... Boxing is the tool that I use, and it's confidence that we try and build for people because it works so well with me. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So then basically boxing changed your life a little bit. It hundred percent changed my life. So one thing led to another. You know, we were in a room that was probably the size of most people's kitchens uh, to start with, and now uh, twelve thousand square feet. It's the largest boxing gym in the country. So wow. Okay. Pretty awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, just kind of transition with the same question, is what do you choose for this profession? Um, honestly, I love boxing, I love the, the fine detail of it, it, it truly is a sweet science, um, but my, my absolute love is the result that boxing does for people. It's, it's the tool that we use uh, to build confidence and to bring confidence to people. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, you know, obviously, we've been going through a global pandemic. Uh, so my question for you is, how have you had to transition with your business during this pandemic? Um, quickly. <laughs> we, we were very fast. Um, I think that uh, within 16 hours, we shifted online. Um, I attribute that to an amazing uh, team that, that we have here. Um, and as well as uh, procrastinating on a project that I've been working on for like the last five years. Uh, so things were kind of lined up already. Um, but I think we were one of the first uh, gyms to go online. Uh, that was really good. We, we moved fast. Um, we have space that so we were able to build a, a studio and, and operate, um, operate uh, the studio online, but we also have a ton of space. So having airflow and having one-way directions and doing the things that keep people safe was really important for our members. Um, and we trained a lot of youth, so we were able to stay open uh, during the times of big closures just because of the age bracket that we do train. And then the older, uh, well, older, I mean, <laughs> 19 plus, um, uh, had to deal with the online aspect of it. So. Yeah. yeah, we did. We did sort of transition between Zoom. We did uh, private, personal one-on-ones. We did a whole bunch of mixtures. We tested the waters, tried different things, but uh, all in a safe and welcoming environment. That's what our, that's, that's what our mission that's is. Amazing to hear. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was a really good, great team. Um, so, what would uh, your customers say they love most about your business about this gym? I would say it would be the community. Um, I'd love to say it was due to like the incredible hard classes and like the almost right. like up jumping ability uh, after you train. Um, but I think that's just like a secondary love. I think that they really love the community. I think that um, you know it's not a whole bunch of like egos, you know, 
big muscle dudes in here. It's, uh, you know, we have everybody. We have kids to adults to, you know, breast cancer survivors to new moms to, you know, hockey stars. So, like, there's a whole eclectic mix of people, and, and we all just uh, support each other. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Awesome. Um, and then, so what kind of classes do you offer, and do the right fit for Griffin's boxing events? Yeah, we have three main pillars at the gym. Um, back in the back in the day, again, it seems like so long ago. Um, I was young and stupid and decided to trademark a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a lot of IP in this world. Okay. Um, so we own the uh, own BoxFit. So BoxFit's our trademark fitness program. Uh, that's kind of the first pillar in the in the program. It's it's about punching, it's about combos, but it's about push-ups and you know burpees and all that stuff as well. It's all the training that boxing boxers do to get to get into the ring. That's kind of where that that lies. And then uh, I also trademark uh, uh, Box Tech. Okay. Box Tech, we developed a program where we use different color hand wraps to teach boxing. They really think karate, but think for boxing. So, never been done before, before for boxing, so we've trademarked that across uh, almost the whole world so far. So, um, it's been really successful for us. You start in white wraps and you move your way through the levels, and it's good because you get to learn the sweet science in a stepwise manner. Okay. And then it's also you're not looking like this after day one. You have, you know, quite a lot of time until you're able to get into the ring. Uh, it's not for everybody, um, but it definitely is for most. Okay. So uh, that's our second pillar. And then our third pillar is personalized training. So we work one on one or two on one or four on one with with small groups. Okay. And then we train uh, that way. So we do a lot of uh, personal training. We do a lot of group classes, okay. split like that. And then uh, separated all of those is. You know, kids age five, kids age you know five to seven, eight to eleven, twelve to sixteen, seventeen plus, and so all the that avenue in between. And then, so I'm assuming that it's pretty much for anybody that's looking, like whether it's for fitness or you actually want to learn the basic things of boxing, this is a great group. Yeah, I I feel so. I'm I'm totally biased. Yeah. Um, but you know, I think by the space. Our, our motto is to change people's lives by building confidence in a safe and welcoming environment. And being safe and welcoming in a boxing gym is really unheard of. Right. So be like, I think just that alone makes this an attractable space right. to be in. The hardest part is walking through the front door. But once you're here, once you've wrapped up, just the sense of wrapping your hands makes you, it empowers you. It be, you feel like a champ already. You haven't even hit a heavy bag yet. Um, and then just being on the floor and, and being accomplished through either the program that teaches you the technical or through the fitness and just not puking and, and having a good time, you know, any of those aspects, you just build confidence. So I think it's all about that for us. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so I think you may already know this, but Park Bench is a community website. You know, they share everything local. So I know that you've been in North Vancouver for a long time and then you're now in Lower Lonzo. Oh, yeah, I think you've been in Lower Lonzo. Yeah. For the, from the beginning as well. What do you love about Lower Lonsdale? What do you love about North Vancouver? What well, I used to love about Lower Lonsdale, it was the cheapest rent I could find <laughs> on the North Shore. Uh, that's changed drastically. Um, yeah, the North Shore has gone through massive changes. As we, as we know, or maybe you don't know, uh, it's only called the North Shore lately. It used to be North Van and West Van. It used to be like Lower Lonsdale and Upper Lonsdale. Like, it used to be very segmented like that. So the North Shore has now become a very, very big community. Um, uh, we love we love that there's you know community spaces being developed, whether it's the brewery district or whether it's uh, the shipyards or or even up Lonsdale has totally changed. So everyone seems to support it. Uh, you know the local businesses around here and and when you walk down the street, you know, I always say hi to people. A lot of people say hi back. So. It's nice in that in that sense. I've been places where they don't say hi back, and you know it's not, it's a little bit more like closed in. But everyone seems to be really open and uh, and willing to support. Um, yeah, it's been really really cool to be in this community. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so lastly, this is our last question. Uh, anything new and exciting going on with your business that you want to let people know? We're open. <laughs> <laughs> We're open. Yeah. Um, yeah, we you know we uh, we just had the Olympic boxing team as is their training camp on the way to Tokyo, uh, so that was a couple of weeks ago, um, and um, and because of that we're we're open to start uh, competitions again. Whether we have crowds or not, we'll see how the rules uh, align with that. But 
Um, you know, we are an amateur boxing club. We do have, uh, you know, athletes looking to go to the provincials, to the nationals, to the Olympics. Um, and uh, when you support uh, the shows, that supports those athletes to get there. So uh, I just say that we have some really cool stuff coming down the pipe and, and give it a try. If, you yeah. if you've never tried uh, boxing, uh, Griffin's Boxing and Fitness is the place to come for sure. So uh, with that, our interview is kind of wrapped up. Cool. Dave, I want to thank you for you know having the time to do this interview. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. I am again Javi Trikastri from Amex Realty, property manager and real estate agent. I want to thank Dave again um, for this interview. If you guys are looking for any boxing classes or fitness classes, he's a great person to kind of get in contact with. Try Griffin's Box and give him a shot. Um, I think you'll definitely like it. And uh, that's it. Cool. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Oh. See you.